Hello and welcome. Today we're still outside Lalandia, which is located in Billund, Denmark, next door to the Legoland Holiday Village. So if you're staying at the Legoland Holiday Village, you can easily cross over the road, come through the doors that I'm about to do now, and then you can enjoy everything that we're about to see. So Lalandia itself is in a perfect location from the Legoland Billund Park and all the different types of accommodations as well. Now I need to apologise in advance. The footage isn't the greatest. I wasn't going to use it, but I can't get back to Billund until after the summer. I know you guys might find this useful and helpful. So it is what it is with a bit of blurriness. Right, so the first thing we see, we've actually got accommodation for sale. Now that is just a tease because I would love to be able to live over in Billund and just see some little bits and pieces. So you do actually have like an agency. Then next thing to the left-hand side, this is where you check in for the Lelandia accommodation only. So all these massive Lego boxes on the floor just here, they are what you get given. Obviously there's individual sets in each one of those big boxes as you check in to Lelandia. So you get a nice big Lego set. It's just a really nice welcome gift, really. So you, it just gives them something to do once you've checked in. So obviously they can start making it up as you guys and girls start to unpack. Now, again, just to the left hand side where you've got these lights, you have a really big on-site supermarket which you can get all your swim towels from you can get all of your everything from soap to sweets to lots and lots of drinks and food and frozen bits and pieces and everything like that so obviously that is for if you're staying at the Landy accommodation or any of the hotels you can also just bring that back they have got like a little bakery and things in there so it's a nice place to obviously get your breakfast from as well now as you go around we will see that there's a lot of eateries you can get a lot of pizza you can get your coffee places and the middle island is obviously everywhere that you can just sit down if you are eating in from all of the different restaurants and everything like that so i came in at a time where it was absolutely empty it was about half an hour before the whole place closed so all the little ones have obviously gone to bed if you catch this at the wrong time it is absolutely ransacked so it is a lucky dip of what time you get to here with regards to how much space and everything that you've got but it will have absolutely everything that you need in here and like i said it is an absolutely perfect location if you're staying at any of the hotels or at the Legoland Holiday Village as well. So I will start to talk about that in a second. And just through this gap here as we turn left, that is an absolutely massive soft play area. And I didn't go through and round because obviously it's just full of children. But if you were to go further forward and then turn left, there are loads of tables and chairs where you can sit down with your drink and then look in directly in front of us now. That is where they put on some shows so that you can sit down on sort of the horseshoe shaped steps and you can watch all the performers. Now, as we go around, you'll see that there's lots of places to play and there's lots of places to buy clothes and bits and pieces from. But if we stick to the accommodation to start with, I said when you first come in, you can check in to the Landia accommodation just on the left hand side. But I also said that on the right hand side, as you came through the front doors, that is where the Legoland Holiday Village is located. So if we make it nice and simple, if you were to walk out of the Lelandia front doors and just turn left, to your left hand side, there would be the Legoland Holiday Village. If you do it to walk just in a straight line, that would be where your Lego castle and the Legoland Hotel is. If you were to walk out a little bit and then turn right, walk in a straight line, that is where the entrance of the Legoland Billund theme park is. And the, the Landia accommodation is sort of just to the, uh, just sort of just behind where we are currently. So all of this is super, super close together and it is all accessible with regards to you staying at any of those places including the theme parks if you just wanted to grab yourself a bite to eat as you are coming back to check into your hotel you've got the pizza the pizza eateries and everything there where it's just really nice and simple so as we go around obviously you can see you can play your golf behind us is where the lego shop is located which is also their big toy shop as well that is actually already up and available in its own separate video located in the lego store playlist so if you want to see all the lego sets that are on offer at this time then obviously make your way over to that playlist which there's some surprising sets in there because it was the one where they had quite a lot of clearance sets available uh, from some of the older themes as you can see you can probably hear shall i say there is actually bowling going on just next door so that is another thing that you can do and play with and there's just a lot of space when it's like this and quiet now you can see those doors directly in front of us there that shop is closed because like i said i'm here later on 
in the evening, things do start to close and shut down staggered. So if you get there too early, obviously the pizza eatery is not open, but the toy shop will be, and then it all starts to close down in reverse. But you can now see the bowling alley to the right-hand side. I think we're about to have a look at a big Lego monkey as well. This is outside the doors of their big toy shop. So this is it just here. And like I said, you just walk straight through these doors because there's three different sets of doors that you're walking into. But the, this set of store, sorry, this set of doors right by this Lego monkey to get into the store is where the Lego boxes are located. Now, as we come round, we've then got like a sports bar area where they just permanently have all the sport on all the different TVs. So depending on what it is, obviously cricket, football, whatever, that'll all be on there continuously. Now, as we come round to the right-hand side, there'll be another eatery as well. And then further forward, we've got lots to explore as well. But there is a eatery just to the right-hand side. Now, this is what I mean about the camera just being a little bit blurry. For some reason, it just couldn't keep up. I had the camera on the wrong setting. I think it was a problem with the memory card. It's all sorted now, though, so it's absolutely fine. So, like I said, I was not going to use this footage and then just redo it next time I came up. But I'm not going to be able to come up until after the summer. So I'd rather give you something for you guys to have a look at so you know what it's there. So there's another sort of deli. Um, and you can see you can big old eatery on the inside. I think a lot of these places actually you can take away from as well if you want to. And again, you can see you've got different baby lounges. Everything is in here. You can spend a good amount of time in here if you wanted to. And like I said, you do not need a ticket to come in and pay. Now, if you look carefully, obviously it's a fish tank, but behind it, you've got green water and there are human beings swimming around in that water so that is something you do need a ticket for that is as we come up and round you will get to the entrance of the Landia water park which is an amazing water park full of all sorts of raft slides and everything like that but just here look where the water is green until you actually go in there you don't actually realize that that is where that bit is but you can actually dive underneath and you can see the fish from the other side and obviously the the, the lights will change color within the water as well so that is quite a cool nice little touch so if you have been to the land here but you've not yet gone into the water park section i highly recommend it because if for adults you've got loads of jacuzzis saunas and everything like that and then for the little ones you've got loads and loads of slides and everything to go down and then there's some big drop slides as well meant for full ages or so it's definitely worth getting down but it's also perfect for the little teeny tiny ones so if you have been to any of the water parks which are legoland based water parks where you've got like the big duplo section with the big drop towers and everything like that it's exactly the same in the landia for like the little teeny tiny ones but it's just not themed lego so this is literally an amazing water park because what they've done is that they've got everything from a legoland water park and then added on bigger rides as well for the adults and they've made sure that they've got a really big baby section all located within the same bit so sort of just trying to imagine it that way and yeah there's there's some good there's some good rides so there's some rides mixed in from almost like center parks and then you've got the ones that are in from the legoland water park and like i said you've got the big the big duplo sort of splash valley which you've got located at i would imagine it'll be at the water park in italy if you've seen the legoland dubai water park it's that sort of thing as well and then if you watch the legoland windsor playlist where we go through the duplo valley and you've got the big sort of splash valley all of that is located inside the landia for the babies but then just to the right inside of it you've got massive saunas and steam rooms that you can sit in big jacuzzis and everything like that for the adults so like i said it's a perfect mix actually for big ones and little ones alike and i do believe if you stay at the lalandia accommodation you get free entry into the water park per day i think because I've seen people with the wristbands and I've looked on their website and it does look like per person you do get one free entry per day and I think it's like £35 to actually get in so something to think about because if you're thinking of actually you would want to do that twice and you want to thinking oh do I stay at the Landia accommodation or do I stay at the Legoland accommodation the Legoland accommodation is amazing but you still have to pay entry to get into the water park where you don't at the Lalandia, but then the Lalandia is more expensive. So it's very much a case of just figure out exactly what you want to achieve from your sort of couple of days away and then just go from there. But as you can see, we've been walking past a load of pay to play games. And then as we come up, you've got a load of shops on the right hand side. Lots of lights. It does look very, very pretty with regards to just how it's obviously always dark. And then you've got the sort of the fake night roof above 
this floor is like the softest floor I've ever stood on and you can see you've got plenty of seats in there where you can just sit down and watch and then obviously all those courts are available to hire and you do have a tennis court on the outside as well and we will have a quick look at the zip wires and things that are available on the outside so if you're thinking it looks very similar to like a center parks layout you are correct but at the same time it's also very very different it is all under one absolutely massive roof so that is the aqua dome to the right hand side what we have just passed before we hit the winter world, uh, winter world to the right hand side that is where you get your ticket to go into the dome but also you have all of your swimwear stuff so if you've forgotten your goggles or your swimming costume or trunks or whatever you can buy it from there including all your towels and everything it's a really big store they sell all your flip-flops footwear whatever it is you need they will have it there and then you can pick that up with your ticket and then go in so again that's a really nice a nice clever thing and it did did look like if you were using the towels from your accommodation you could actually dump the towels off in there so i'm guessing that obviously if you are staying at the land here you might receive more multiple towels where you are eligible to use those here obviously some places don't do that but there was a big towel bin as you came out and everybody was just dumping the white towels in there so I'm guessing all of those people were staying at the Lelandia accommodation. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, guys. If you have stayed there, let everybody else know what it's like to stay at the Lelandia accommodation because that is one of the only places in Billund I'm yet to stay at. So I don't know the full ins and outs of everything. This is just information that I have read online. So hopefully that is the case, that you do get the tickets with that. And then you've got all the different types of accommodation in Lelandia. And it's easy enough to walk to to here. But... Bizarrely, I would say that the Legoland Holiday Village is actually closer to walk to to get to the front door of this because you actually have a land train that runs around Lelandia because it is so big that if you've got accommodations further back, it, you will then need to get on a train, otherwise you are going for a big old, big old hike. But again, let everybody know in the comments what you think of it all and everything else like that. So we are in the Wonder World, or Winter World, shall I say, this is a permanent winter feature. This is here all year round, so you can ice skate directly in front of us there. I know it's a bit blurry. That is where you get your ice skates from. To the left-hand side, you can buy permanent things for your Christmas tree. And then you've got a nice, another nice eatery just down the side on here. And then we are now gonna to start to walk back down on ourselves. And I do believe we'll then cut through, walk past the gym, and then we will end up cutting the footage again because we get to the other end of the soft play area. And then we'll come back into the middle. So you can do like a big figure of eight um, here if you wanted to. So if you were to do absolutely everything and walk in every single shop and then do the actual water park you would need a full day if you were going to do the water park as well so you could you could be in the water park for a few hours now with the water park ticket you have one ticket to enter but the second you come back through the gates where we saw the entrance bit to the water park that is it is game over they will not allow you back in so everything the other side of those gates are available with regards to food and drink and everything else like that but it is a completely separate thing whereas obviously where we're walking around now we can walk out the front door we can come back in again we can do whatever you want as many times as we want but with regards to the water park you don't have that luxury so just make sure that you've got absolutely everything packed i'm sure if you forgot something they would allow you out to come back in again but it's not like you can come in, in the morning then leave and then come back in the afternoon after you've had lunch if you want food you have to have it on site but like I said, you would spend a good few hours at this water park and then another few hours just walking around. So you would allocate a day to a day and a half, well, sorry, a day to half a day, depending on the age and if you're just coming as a group of adults or whatnot and what else you're going to be doing. But it's because of the opening hours, it's actually really easy to do because what you can do is obviously you could say, for example, do the Lego house. And then when you're coming out of the Lego house, you can then come straight to here and then just spend the rest of the afternoon here. And then this doesn't shut till either 9 or 10 o'clock at night. And then it's slightly different with regards to the actual water park side of it. But you could easily probably do the Lego house and the water park on the same day if you wanted to. It's one of those where if you are only coming for two days and you want to do multiple things and you're going to do the theme park on the one day, the Lego house on the other, you'll just keep coming to here in the evenings just to soak it all in. So that'll keep your days nice and filled. Now, this is one of your fitness suites. 
Again, you, it's, a pay, it's a pay to enter thing, but I'm not 100% sure if you can actually get a membership to that as well for the locals. So that I don't know about, but it is something that is on site. And you can see it is another massive area where you can go down, get changed. I'm also assuming that they are the changing rooms for tennis and the badminton and everything like that as well. Now, guys, I am slowly starting to run out of time. So if you can like and subscribe and all that good stuff, that would be absolutely fantastic. Apologies again for the stutter of the footage. Like I said, it was just narrow the camera now been fixed which is good we are actually walking up the way i wasn't going to walk down because behind me is the soft play so this whole length that i'm walking we're looking into the cafeteria but behind me there are more chairs and there obviously that is the length of the soft play area as well so you can get an understanding of just how big that soft play is and there we are we're back at the front bit where we were before because the actual it's like windows and plexiglass that looks in onto those. Now we're going to come back through, basically now just come out and leave, and then we'll have a look at some little bits and pieces outside. But just as a recap, guys, if there's anything else I can help you with, please drop it in the comments below, and I'll do my best to help with regards to different places to stay that are around here. Now I did mention the accommodations of just the Lego stuff and also the Landia stuff. But you have got all the other hotels which are within the same sort of distance it's all like a big circle around it so you've got the um hotel number eight is there you've got the lodge hotel and there is one more up around this way as well so you have a good a good selection of them and where we are if you wanted to get to the actual legoland park super easy you're minutes away and you're about a 20 minute walk away from the lego house just walking through the sculpture park as well but that's it, done and finished. Anything you can help each other with, drop it in the comments below. Anything I can help you with, let me know in the comments below. Yes, the door does get stuck if you keep walking into it. So if you just take a step back, it will get going all by itself. So it's not that complicated to figure out. And then we can escape, we can get out, and I will leave you with a couple of bits and pieces on the outside. But guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. You guys take care and hope you get to the next one. Ta-da.